Because one concern is that uh, this new building might be strictly compliant yes. with the National Building Code, and then earthquake comes, the other building is not. So the, the new building would also be affected. Definitely, yeah. If, if you, have a, you have a building adjacent to your building, and then your building is okay, and then suddenly another building beside you is not compliant, Definitely, there will be some problems when you're, when a building would pound. There, there's, there's what's called pounding failure. So if you have a very um, uh, near building, uh, adjacent building to your building, and earthquake comes, there will be some motion. And uh, sometimes, the building would be pounding on your building. Mm -hmm. So that would give you damage also. Let's talk about what, uh, what happened in, uh, in Manila, the, yes. the AAC building, Emilio Aguinaldo College. Yes. We yes. saw that after the first earthquake, uh, the, 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 the building is now leaning uh, next to the uh, adjacent building. Mm -hmm. So of course, we haven't expect, uh, inspected that personally. But mm -hmm. uh, fr from, 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 where you, from where you're standing, your, from your perspective, what are the possibilities? Bakit siya tumabingi and others did not? Well, I haven't seen exactly uh, the AYAC building at all. Uh, I've seen from the photos. Uh, I, it's most likely, there, uh, normally the buildings should not be leaning. It should be after an earthquake, the building sways, and then it should go back to its original vertical position. So uh, most likely there will be some sexual concerns on the building, or probably uh, there will be some some settlement uh, that would that would uh, have triggered the leaning of that building. Mm. Of course, we're, we're seeing uh, photos of the uh, of the uh, building. It didn't collapse, but there was. It's now leaning next to the uh, adjacent building here. Of mm. course, we heard that uh, one possibility is uh, liquefaction. Yes, possibly yes. Uh. But th the question is, how come the other building didn't uh, uh, lean? Um. In structural design, we have uh, various ways of addressing the liquefaction hazard. So we, we uh, design our foundation to be able to uh, uh, sustain the earthquake load even if, the, if you are founded on a liquefiable soil. So just to be clear, if uh, the soil is liquefiable, it's yes. prone to liquefaction, it doesn't mean you can no longer build any structure there. Yes, yes. Pwede pa. Pwede pa. Pwede pa. You, can still, you can still build on a liquefiable soil, but, but you have to put extra measures or extra uh, or, or, or different foundation system to carry the building. So, so like what? Uh, we normally use board piles. Uh, that, that's where you drive, the, drive a hole inside the, the soil and then you put in reinforcements. That's, so you're putting in sticks inside the, inside the soil like, uh, and then that will be supporting the, the structure. So you try to make the soil more stable? You try to make the soil more stable, and then you, ha you try to extend the foundation down to the harder part of the, s the soil. Now, when it comes to inspection, uh, when it comes to compliance to the building code, is that yeah. part of the inspection also? No, it's part of the permit stage. Uh, during the pre-construction stage, you, when, when, we have, uh, when we start doing buildings, we submit to the building official mm. the plans for the building. So when, uh, when we present to the building officials the plans, we put in there what type of foundation we will use.